Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to be building a small water pump. Now I actually am working on a build right now that I need this for, but that's the subject of another video. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So tools you will need to build this will be a hacksaw, a drill, some super glue, a hot glue gun with hot glue, and additionally it would be great if you had a bench grinder you could use. Now for building materials you'll need 1 4 inch plastic tubing, 1 4 inch PVC pipe, some Lexan, you won't need much so the standard 10 by 8 inch should be fine, a DC motor, the bigger the motor the more powerful the pump, a circular plastic container, it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it's just a little bit larger than your motor is. I got this from the cap of a spray can, see a little circle in there, that's what I used. And lastly, you will want something that can fit on the shaft of your motor. I got this off of an old toy car. So let's get started with the build. So we'll start by taking our plastic cap and we will cut it down so that it is just a little bit longer than our motor shaft. We want enough space so we can fit one piece of Lexan in between the motor and the end of that cap. Next, we'll take a drill and we'll drill a hole in the center of the cap, just large enough so that our motor can fit just like this. So now we'll take the piece of Lexan and we will trace a rectangle around this plastic cap. Just like that. And now we'll cut this out. We'll cut this out, smooth out the edges, and drill holes right here and right here. This will be our base plate for the whole assembly. And we'll also trace a circle around the cap itself and we'll cut out this piece of plastic and you want to make sure that this piece fits snugly inside the cap itself. You will also want to measure a strip of plastic the same length as your shaft on your motor. So that will be right about there and we will cut this out also. Next you want to take your cap and you want to measure from the very middle of your cap to the wall. And then that piece of Lexan with that strip of uh, plastic we just cut out, we'll cut that into four pieces the same length. Once we have everything cut out, it should look like this. Here's our base plate. As you can see, it's just a little bit wider than our cap, and there's a hole on each end. Our circle piece fits snugly inside the cap, and our four fin pieces are each about the right length. Okay, now take your plastic piece that's supposed to go on your shaft and make sure that it's the same length as your shaft. Next, take your 1 4 inch PVC pipe and cut two 1 inch pieces out of it. And then drill those pieces large enough so that your 1 4 inch tubing can fit inside it snugly. Here are my two pieces I've already cut. And as you can see, it fits in there nice and snugly. Okay, so now it's time to start assembling everything together. So we will get our base plate that we've cut out and we'll get our circle piece that we've cut out. And we will super glue our circle piece to the absolute center of the base plate. Just glued it, put it onto the absolute center and push it down. And if you have a clamp to clamp it in place while it dries, that's great, but if you don't, you shouldn't need it. And now things are going to get just a little bit more difficult. We're going to take the plastic piece that goes on the end of our motor and we're going to try to glue it to one of these plastic fins. You want to glue it right on top of the fin just like that. Okay cool, I glued it and it's drying. Next you'll want to take another piece of your fin and you'll want to glue it right here. Just like that. Now we'll take another piece and we'll glue it right here and we'll take the last piece once we've glued this piece and we'll glue it right here. So once everything's glued it should look like this and if you want you can put a little bit of extra glue on the top. So now once your base is dried you'll want to drill a hole right down the very center of the circle large enough so that our plastic piece that we cut earlier, the PVC pipe, can fit in there very snugly. Just like this. Nice snug fit. What you'll want to do next is you'll want to cut out three pieces of three quarter inch by three quarter inch squares out of your of your Lexan and then you'll glue those together like I did here and then you'll sand them to fit the curve 
of your cap. Now how you'll do this is you'll take your, uh, your cap, your sandpaper, wrap the sandpaper in the cap, and then sand it back and forth. It takes quite a while to get this curve on, but I think it'll be well worth it. So now once you have this made, drill a hole through this, just like we did with this base, just large enough for our PVC pipe to go right through the middle of it, like this. Okay, so now I'll pull out the pipe for now and glue this piece onto the side of your plastic cap. And just like that. And now you want to take your drill again and you want to drill through this hole right through the capped plastic. And you do not want as big as a hole as you did before. You actually want about the same size hole as the inside of your PVC. Here you go. So I don't know how well you can see that, but the second hole, the one in the cap, is not quite as big as the one in the Lexan. And we want it that way so when we push this in, it'll be nice and snug, but it won't go all the way through. So next we'll take our motor and we will hot glue all around here and push it in place right there. Okay, cool. So now after you've done that, you will take our blade we made and you should slip it on there and make sure that it fits. And mine does. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this onto the motor shaft just like this. Next you want to glue the motor assembly onto the base plate and make sure that this pipe is pointing out towards one of the sides because we do not want to block our holes we've drilled. Just like that. And now this is a time where you want to make sure that you've sealed up everything and glued it and don't forget to check the base of your PVC pipe tubes and make sure those are all glued up. And there you go, your water pump is now completed. Now I would suggest waiting a few hours for the glue to dry before testing it, but after that, you're good to go. And if you're wondering what the holes in the base plate are for, that is so we can put bolts through them and mount it anywhere we want. Thank you so much for you guys watching, and if you like this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and Lord willing, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe.